What's up, everybody? This is the Michael. I'm here in 1987, and I'm here to give you a review of the Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection. This game is an exclusive PS4 exclusive, which is a remaster of all three Uncharted games: Uncharted 1, Drake's Fortune; Uncharted 2, Among Thieves; and of course, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. All three games bundled in one package, all for 60 bucks, which may be steep for those who like remaster collections. But how does it do as a remaster? Um, to be honest, it does do a lot of things right. However, it is lackluster in extra content, which is a true shame for this game. But saying that though, if you are a true Sony fan, if you want to play the upcoming Uncharted 4 Thieves N, uh, you might want to catch up with the past. So, if you have never played these games before, which is a true shame, this is your ticket to playing them once again, even if you don't get any extra content. This is all single player stories. Now, the Uncharted series has been around since 2007, developed by Naughty Dog, who has recently done other games like Crash Bandicoot and the Jack and Dexter series. Now, this game, now this trilogy of, uh, this remaster, which involves three games on one disc, uh, revolves around main protagonist, who is basically a fortune hunter named Nathan Drake, and his allies, who mostly he works with, is Victor Sullivan, Elena Rose, and a few other characters throughout the story. Um... I'm not going to talk too much about the story of each one of these games, I'm going to talk about the entire package as a whole. Now, as you see here, this wasn't developed, now, this game was not developed by, this remaster was not developed by Naughty Dog, they're working on Charge 4. This was actually developed by uh, remaster developers, uh, Bluepoint Games, and they did a really good job with this. All the, fr all the frame rates and resolution is put to the full test to 1080p and 60 frames per second for those graphic cores out there. And you can definitely tell the improvements. If you go play Uncharted 3 right now, and then you go, or Uncharted 1 to Uncharted 3, on the old PS3, you will notice a big difference once you go on to playing it on this big bad boy. Now, now, uh, yes, the game is updated. The graphics are really done out well here. But Uncharted 1, just because it's updated, does not mean it's going to look better than um, Uncharted. It's not going to look like Uncharted 4 or Uncharted 3 in graphics. This is like at the, like the pier, the beginning of the PlayStation 3 generation. You can tell. But saying that though, the game had a great uh, fresh coat of paint, and the frame rate never went down actually while playing it, which is really satisfying. Which is always a good thing, because when it comes to those shooting moments, or those moments where precise uh, button commands are needed, uh, the game actually was unreliable. Um, it did not fall apart, or none of the frame rate dropped so badly. Um, visually, the game was look impressive. The locations and the environments and the animations of the characters definitely look like they've been improved since the original uh, release on PlayStation 3. And all the cutscenes, while they haven't like done like Gears of Wars, uh, Ultimate Editions type of like redo or motion capture, they basically took all the cutscenes, made it a lot more better looking. And I think that's all better. Well, I mean, it all looks great. I may just say. For those who play uh, like the game Uncharted, the original PS3 collection, and then playing this on PS4, you might not notice that many different visual cues or that many visual nods. But for those who never played it before, this is going to be really great for those. And this is really meant for those who never played uh, the trilogy on PS3, which is a true shame, like I said before. Um, like I said before, the graphically, these games I said are, are well done. The animations, the sound design, the everything about the visual quality here is all well done here. And uh, Uncharted One may look a little bit weaker or not as well done than the other games, but you can tell that the developers really uh, pushed uh, the graphic um, graphics for this game particularly because I I I never got I played a little bit of the first one. I never, I never, to be honest, I never really completed or played actually the first one to be honest. Uh, and it did look, it it may look uh, not great to certain people now, but at the time the game really looked really amazing in 2007, and it's been like s seven years since this game came out, so it's really you can really see there's a big difference once you play the old one and then you play the seven year later of remaster. Um, now when it comes to like. Now it's now it may not add any of the new mechanics that the games have gotten to, like the throwing grenades back mechanic, or certain other kinds of, like the upgraded combat throughout the other games. But you could definitely see that the game uh, definitely 
it stays true to itself. I mean, no matter what, storytelling is still the same, and everything about the game is still true to its original 2007 release. The next uh, big game, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, took a big step with graphical uh, gameplay, with the storytelling to basically everything. The scope was a lot more bigger. And this is considered the best one of the trilogy. In my personal opinion, I, it's it really sucks between Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3. Both of them are really outstanding games, in my personal opinion. But to be honest, I'm not going to be talking about that much. My personal uh, state, all the games of this collection works well, they all play well, and they all have um, the reward bonus system, which gives you basically, if you beat the game in a certain difficulty, you basically unlock fat skins, or slow motion, or fast motion, or the world's upside down, or infinite ammo. It basically allows you to get perks or collections. Um, however, what is a true shame, which is the big disappointment for this package of the Nathan Drake collection, is even, it's surprising that this is Sony's like biggest franchise to say as of right now, but it feels like that they didn't have any extra content. There's no um well there's content art, but there's no vlog documentaries of the games that are made. There is no online features at all, no multiplayer at all. I think they did this because of what happened last year with Halo the Master Chief Collection being a disaster by adding all the multiplayer modes on one disc and it ended up being a big disaster and I don't think it's still being fixed right now. So I think that's why they did not add the multiplayer, but who knows, I, it's a true shame for those who never played it before, it sucks for those who never played it, but for us, we still, for those PS3 owners, you still had that PS3, you know, you can still play it for free on there. It may not look as good as it does as the game packages look here, but they, it's game still looks, um, the games, in the, the other games in the PS3 version with the multiplayer, they still look great overall. Um, the games always had a mixture of adding parkour, uh, climbing, puzzle solving, shooting, and shooting enemies. It's like, a it's a system that they have. So, uh, how can I say it? it? It stays true to its mechanics well, I must just say. Um, I'm not gonna, like I said before, I'm not gonna go into the stories of each one of these campaigns. I might just say that the stories here are actually well done. They have their own supernatural elements, like any uh, game with adventure starts, we will begin with. And it all just feels so well, as I must just say. It all feels smooth, meaning I just add, um, I think. Um, like, I don't really, I didn't really find anything wrong with the actual games themselves, to be honest. I mean, I never found any problems with the campaigns, or like the storytelling, or the gameplay here. To me, in my opinion, the, the uh, Nathan Drake collection is a masterpiece when it comes to the game packages, but as much as an entire package, when it comes to extra content and all, it suffers a little bit, may I just say that overall. Um, now, you, now, Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 didn't get as much as a refresh paint as Uncharted 1 got, but you can definitely tell a uh, load things, like when it comes to the animations, like I said before, the frame rates, the graphical stuff, basically if you took the PS3 version and then put the PS4 version right next to each other, you might not notice that much difference. But you, the, once you get the game in motion, you're playing and you're doing all the shooting mechanics and all that stuff, then you'll notice all the good things about this game, right here, may I just say. The, there's a lot, of, and each game uh, campaign is satisfying and has a satisfying length. Each one will take you like 10 to 14 hours to play, and, that's, and there's three games on one package, remember that, so, te like, uh, like, I said 10, right? Maybe like 10, 14, so, maybe 30 to maybe, I don't know, like 40, maybe 30 to maybe 40 hours of a campaign time here. And plus, they could have been more if they had a multiplayer, but they did not add that, which is a true shame, which is a missed opportunity, in my opinion, so... Whatever the problem was with that, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like cry about it. But it's just saying, I'm just gonna say it's a missed opportunity, it's a missed chance to really uh, let other people who never played the online before play it now, which is a uh, true like I said before. Because the online in the past was really well done. I really liked both versions of the multiplayer, which is a true shame. You could just added one version of the multiplayer. I don't know. However, for those who are looking forward to Uncharted 4, there is an online beta on December 4th coming soon. So if you get this game, you basically are allowed to play the Uncharted 4 beta, which is also a nice package for uh, those who cannot wait for Uncharted 4. You know? So that's always good, right? That's good. So, um,. Overall, everything about the package is a mostly successful ride. Every, every once in a while, uh, you notice a few of the cracks, I might just say. I mean, to be honest, I can go uh, on and on about the review and all, and basically talk about uh, the gameplay, the story, but I'm not going to do that, like I said before. 
is really just a simple remaster review. It's basically just me talking about the little things like the not the graphical uh, power uh, upgrades, the uh, extra content which they don't have. I mean, you do like I said before, you do get. There's also speed run mode, which is basically the same thing as normal campaign or anything. It's just got to speed through it all, and um, basically have a timer and all that stuff. So uh, and there's been, and there's tons of difficulty modes for those completionists out there who want to go into hardest difficulties. The AI in this game are no, um, uh, they're not no, they're no easy bags. They're all hard. They're all they're not super hard. They're like Dark Souls or Bloodborne hard, but they are difficult AI. They can be challenged. To be, you know, I died a few times while playing all three campaigns, which is surprising. You know, it's been a while since I played these games, so I may just say it wasn't um, the easiest challenge ever, but it was good overall with what I got. With um, when it, uh, how can I say, what else did I, so I took the uh, graphics, um, which is basically a lot of the, what the remaster collection is, I mean, uh, there's also music, voice acting, voice acting is always top notch with these games, and they do a good job with the writing and the voice acting, of course, with, uh, voice actors like Nolan North, who are leading the series, and, he, and they all do a good job with the, um, with the voice acting and the music is well done. Like I said, sound design is well done with the guns and explosions and the combat moments. Um, Uncharted 3, I just say, is the most ambitious one in narrative here because it goes back into the past telling a backstory and also gets put us more of a, into the psyche of Nathan Drake as he just pursues what he's pursuing and it's basically his relationship with Victor Sullivan, basically. I might just say that for uh, each one of the stories is well done, I just say. Um, I don't know if there's anything really else to go on about this package, other than the fact that I was really, um, well, I played these games before, I thought I'd be bored by playing this, but I had some fun, you know, the, the improved controls, for those who hated the PS3 controller, you can play, uh, you can change the controls back to a PS3 style, or you can play with the new PS4 style system of controls, and, uh, all of it works well, it all plays well, it all, um, looks great, might just say, uh, I, I think that's all I'm ready to go on, because, I can go in deep uh, into all the games about their plot twists and what each one does differently. Each game actually adds new mechanics, little things like combat here. In Atari 3, combat is much most uh, Batman-like. You have your your throwing, you have your, you have your throwing character, you have your counters, you have your like fists. You don't, you can't jump over enemies, which is uh, normal, which is fine with me. Um, but you can tell that they evolved combat throughout the series when it comes to shooting and uh, punching and, and like fist fist. However, there is um um what is, what was it? What was I gonna say? Yeah, they also added the throwing grenades back mechanic, which I wish they added to the other two, but they only kept it in this one, which is basically you throw grenades when someone throws a grenade back at you. No, know, it's nothing special, but you know it's just there. Um, overall, I must just say that the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection. It's a solid package. It might not. It misses uh, an opportunity to give us more content like the extended uh, multiplayer package. There's no of that. There's no uh, voiceovers, no commentaries of the writers or the directors, or any like real extra content. There's not even a co-op mode from two and three, where we could have played split screen with that mode and so buddies. We can't do that. We only have. Um, Single player experiences, that's it. So don't expect to get that co-op mode from part three where you do survival mode or co-op missions. You don't get that in this package, so um I one thing I do must say is if you do not have a lot of space on your um hard drive for this game, you might want to make a lot of space there. The game requires up to 45 gigabytes, almost 50 gigabytes, which is a lot for a uh, remaster uh for games. I mean Games may be getting more visually beautiful, but certain developers out there can optimize their games to low uh, gigabyte need necessities. So it's surprising that these games, like these Sony exclusive uh, remasters, require a lot of space for just to play it. Which, uh, which is, I'm not saying it's a bad thing that it needs so much space. I'm just saying it's like it's an odd thing that some developers do better jobs at optimizing than others. So that's what I'm just saying. No, nope, try not trying to start a fight or anything like that. Overall, like I said, the uh, the visual, the quality of the games is top notch. But it's 1080p, 60 frames per second. Look, um, everything looks great. Everything controls great. I might just say, um, I'm just disappointed by the online. There's no online features at all. That's all I'm just saying. Okay. 
So the final verdict for the Uncharted Nathan Joy Collection, it's an overall score in my personal opinion. It, it was hard for me to kind of review this game because I did not know what to give it. I did not know what to give it a 10, a 9.5, a 9, I'm stuck between that area. But I'm just going to go give it an overall score of a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, here's the reasons why this is a 9.5 out of 10. Number one is the visual quality of these games. They definitely look a lot more better now. They look uh, definitely amazing. You get three games for the price of one. So, and um, there's, ton there's enough content to satisfy those who have never played the Uncharted games before. For those who like, I want all like the content, like all the commentary, the documentaries. You're not gonna get that type of experience. Here. You're just gonna get a simple uh, single-player campaign, adventure add-ons. That's it. Nothing else. Um, one of the flaws of this package is truly the um, uh, the no online type of feature, no online multiplayer at all, no co-op, no nothing like that. You just get a single player experience, which is all fine, I just wish I could have had something else to do once I'm done with the campaign, other than replay it on higher difficulties, or do speed challenges, you know, I switch to something more, or playing as a fat Nathan Drake, you know? I don't mind playing as a fat Nathan Drake, which is in the bonus of reward content, you can check it out there. But I just wish there was something else to do after I was done with the main experience, you know? So guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, more reviews on my channel, like the Mad Max review, or Metal Gear Solid review, or Metal Gear Online review, are on my channel, the Michael M 97 on YouTube. Uh, please like this video, comment below, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Facebook as Michael Martinez. Follow me on Twitter as the Michael M 1997 <coughs> Sorry about that, I just have a cough. Um, and uh, basically, I'll have more reviews coming soon. Who knows what I'll review next? I don't really have anything else to review next, but I'll find something to review next. Who knows? Um, so that's it, guys. Please like and video. So before I share this, uh, I'll actually video with others. I never get a chance to say this, guys. But share this video with others. It really does help a lot if you do that. So thank you very much. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Michael M. 1987. What? I forgot what I See, I got something stuck in my mouth. The Michael M1907. See you on next video. Uh, it's my next video. See you on my next video of that. Uh, the Michael M1907. Alright, guys? So, bye bye. Have a good one.